I just want to make a comment about this GameStop issue, debacle, if you will, fiasco that just took place a few days ago on Wall Street. Basically, you had people on Robinhood, an app that the little people use to buy stock, and they decided to get together and buy certain stock that the hedge funds and big companies, bankers, etc., basically decided to devalue. So in other words, here on one hand, you have a big guy saying, I'm going to buy GameStop and I'm going to buy these other stocks and we're going to devalue the price of those stocks. We're going to what is called short those stocks. And on the other hand, on the flip side, on Robinhood, the little guy decided to get together. Hey, let's all get together, buy these stocks. We can all benefit from this. And that's exactly what happened. Now that the little guy has actually benefited from buying certain stock that the big guy was trying to short, now there's a problem. The difference between now and 2008 is that we get to see right before our very eyes who was attempting to cause a problem. Because when you short a stock and devalue a stock, it impacts that company. And that company has employees. And those employees have families. The same thing happens when it comes to anything that they do on Wall Street that does not benefit the big, the little people. Because they're always trying to benefit what I call the big people, the big guys, not the little guys. So here we have a scenario where the little guys got together and, and communicated, hey, let's buy the stocks that have been shorted by the big guys. And guess who won? The little guys. Now there's a problem. And they're talking about it all over the news as if, you know, we got to do something about it. What did, what, what, why do they need to do something about something where the little guy benefits? Isn't it all about being able to work smart and play hard and take accountability? Isn't that what they tell the little guy? Take accountability? But no, when it comes to the big people, they don't take accountability. They didn't take accountability back in 2008 when they got the bailout. Even though Americans were mainly the ones impacted, they were the ones left holding the debt back in the financial crisis of 2008. They were the ones negatively impacted. The American people didn't get a bailout. They had to do what? Take accountability for their actions. Now all of a sudden, the hedge fund companies and these banks, banksters, they don't need to take any accountability whatsoever. We, they need to look into it to see if there's a problem. There's a problem with communication that a, a group of people that are not hedge fund people decide to get together and buy stock that the big guy decided to short, to devalue, and then they benefited from it. I don't see a problem at all. I think this is great. And I think a lot of other Americans think it's great as well. And then to add insult to injury, while the little people were still making profits from buying the stock, Robin Hood steps in and decides to stop the little people from buying their little stocks. Okay? But they would allow them to sell the, the, the stocks, such as GameStop, which of course would then benefit the hedge fund companies, the big people. Because if you sell the stock, it devalues the stock. But that's not a problem. So now they're going and asking the CEO of uh, Robinhood, why did he stop the buying of the stock and only allowed them to sell? And he's saying that he wanted to um, make sure that his, you, you know, the people on Robinhood using the app are safe and you know whatever but it, but it, but the only way they would be safe if they were profiting from what they were doing instead they could only sell stock after a certain time of profiting from buying a stock but the CEO of Robinhood wanted to make sure that his end users were safe no the CEO of Robinhood was trying to make sure that Wall Street was safe. And now Wall Street is looking to various entities to find out how they can remain safe and how they don't.
don't have to play the game fair because they've not ever played the game fair. And they don't mind hurting the little guy because we all saw them hurt the little guy back in 2008. But now that a hedge fund company or whatever is now hurt, from what I understand, that company needs over $2 billion, right? Just to, just to function, if you will. Now that these type of companies are hurt, now they need to look into it. They ne never looked into anything in terms of how the American people were hurt back in 2008. So my comment is not so much, as you can tell at this point, about the intricate details of shorting a stock and buying a stock. My commentary is basically about how America works against the little people and for the big people. And now Robin Hood, rightfully so, I believe that they've already began the process of starting a class action suit against Robin Hood. And that is to say the little guy. But the big guy is going on mainstream media explaining their point and position because they have that leeway. And the big guy is upset because they lost. Because you understand, just like they got bailed out back during the financial crisis, they don't lose. The big guys, they don't lose anything. But they're always telling the little guy to take responsibility, right? I just wanted to make comment on the principle of this issue. So let's get the conversation started. What's your thoughts on this?